Oh, these birds are kind of fun down here. I have some that are similar to this right now that are listed, um, but these are a total different colorway. They've got all this blue on them, like, and that blue and white is so popular right now in decorating. That's one of the reasons why I picked up that little Lillian Vernon plate. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rami's Retro. It's been a little while since we have had a full uh, video, so I'm hoping that we uh, find some great things, and this is a really good trip. We are at the Scottsdale Goodwill after work. I had a rough day at work, so I am definitely in the mood to do a little bit of shopping. So let's head inside and see what we can find. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, got some fun wood pieces here to start off. That's really kind of neat looking. It's like they're all holding up the earth um, for $7.49. I think I might grab onto that. I didn't see what the color was for today, but I think I might look that wood piece up at least. And this one looks pretty neat too, but it looks like there was some damage and the head broke off, so we'll pass on that. Some carved masks down here. These look kind of interesting. Hand carved, $8.49 each on those, I would assume. $7.49 on that one. Interesting. And this one's got some damage to it. That $7.49 I might go ahead and grab though. I mean, I'd like to get them as a pair, but I don't know. Well, maybe we'll think about it. I hate splitting things up, but he does have kind of a little rough spot on his nose, and she looks pretty good. So let's keep rolling, see what else we've got here. Doesn't look like too much else. The shelves are a little light this evening. We didn't see this at this Goodwill, but we've seen it at other ones. Um, that same plate. This is a sweet little trinket dish for 99 cents. I kind of like that. For 99 cents? Oh, it's got some yucky here, though. So, eh, I guess we'll leave it. It would be for me, and I don't need it. That looked old, but it is not. It fooled me. This looks kind of fun back here. $1.49. Um, with the ribbon through it. That's kind of pretty. Maybe I'll look that up, too. $1.49 is a really, really good price. And figurine-wise, it doesn't look like we've got too much, actually. $4.49. I do kind of like this Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. $5.49. I've got kind of a blue hint to it. But it might, might, be, might be nice for my white sail. God, see, I'm so tired today. Y'all, I can't even talk. I love these little tiny little guys. They're $2.49 each. Why are they $2.49 each? Look at their sweet little faces. My goodness. I might need to look those little guys up too. Well, it looks like they're little miniature Holly Hobby. And this one actually sold for $15 recently. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab these guys. Um, they are not inexpensive, but I think they can bring me some dollars. And if not, they can at least bring me a little bit of joy because they are very, very cute. All right, let's see if there's any goodies in mugs. Oh, I think I see a Starbucks cup. Holy jeez. Holy jeez Louise. Indianapolis. Looks like it's in good shape. No chips or anything for $3.49. So I'm going to go ahead and text that to Amy and see if she has it. And if she does, I might go ahead and hold on to it and sell it myself because some of them can be very profitable. Well, I'm glad we took a spin through the mugs. I wasn't going to at first because it looked kind of thin over here. And I thought, eh, we don't need to waste our time with mugs. Let's move on to something else. But this was a good, uh, good decision. These little shamrock guys are kind of cute. There's four of those for Irish coffee, $1.49 each. That's really sweet. But St. Patrick's Day is, um, it's over, right? Wasn't it on last Sunday? Yeah, so that's a done deal. That's kind of nice. That's got some age to it. $3.49 on the sugar. And they've got the creamer also for $3.49. I don't see any maker's mark on those. Might have to look those up. I'm not sure who makes those. Um, but it might be worth looking. Well, it looks like there was one set listed for like $25 and one set listed for $12 and quite a few in between and no solds. So even though I really like it, I'm going to pass on it and leave it for somebody else. I also really like this. 
Um, I think it's just pressed glass. It's nothing special, crystal or anything, but I like it for like a little cheese ball for Christmas time. It's pretty. Lots of snack trays. We usually see quite a few snack trays. We're not in the market for those. This is a pretty bowl, probably Mikasa, which does not sell for me. Awesome punch bowl with cups, but we don't need to get our hands into anything like that. Big gigantic thing. This is a nice little studio piece for $3.49 with lizards on it. And it doesn't seem to have any damage on it. Looks like somebody changed their mind. I kind of like this though. I like the shape. I like the little lizards. We'll grab that for $3.49. All right. There's some fun vintage Pyrex, but it's really, really messed up from use for $6.49. So we're gonna pass on that guy. That looks Italian. It's not. It's newer. That looks like a vintage piece though down here. What's this guy? Let's rearrange a little. $3.49. It's Direction Stoneware. Wild Flowers. I like that. For $3.49, I think we're going to pick that guy up. He should have some pretty decent value, or I'll keep him for myself. There's another one down here, too, with pansies on it. What's this? $3.49 as well. That's pretty, I like that. This has no maker's mark on it. Hmm, maybe we'll look that up. We'll do an image search and see if anything comes up for that guy. Oh, that's ceramic. And I kind of like this with the little blue flowers on it. $2.49, no maker's mark on that either. It looks familiar though. These are pretty, this is a really pretty blue spiral. It's a newer contemporary, it's still pretty. Oh, I like those, those are kind of neat. What are those? Los Angeles Pottery. Hey, 1964, those are definitely vintage. It's a lot of crazing on them, but that's not a bad thing. This one's $2.49 and that one's $4.49. Why? Um, well, this one's got a little bit of damage on the side there, but not, not a lot. It's not bad. I'm going to see if they'll give them both to me for $2.49. I wonder if they will. Um, one of you suggested that on one of my shorts the other day. Um, I didn't wind up buying those little pairs, but that pair of pairs... Um, but that was definitely a good idea, never, not necessarily something I've ever really thought of before. So let's see if it works. We'll ask them to do it today. Those are kind of neat. What is that, Ohio? Do the I don't know. I can't tell. Where is that? It's kind of strange. Okay, you have a great day too. Well, I'm not seeing anything else that's too fantastical in dishes, so let's, well, wait, what are these? They're kind of older. 24 karat gold. They are pretty, but eh, I don't know. Oh, these are pretty too. Oh, those are very pretty. What are those? Oh, they're not old. And they have turkeys on them. Those are pretty though, I love the colors. All right, let's head on down the road here. Well, nothing for us in pottery or clear glass or vases or anything like that. It was all just new stuff or broken stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything really in candles here either. Oh, kitty cat's kind of cute, but he's got one black eye and one not black eye, which is a little bit on the strange side, I, I think. And this candle's kind of neat, but doesn't have a price on it and I don't really need to bother with that. Um, so let's see what's going on over in wood. Uh, surprisingly, not too much. <laughs> uh, kind of light. Looks like they cleaned up or cleaned out a little bit. These are plastic. They're not real wood. That's cute, but it's got a bunch of damage on it and it's metal, not wood. So yeah. 
wood is no good tonight, it looks like. That's not wood, that's plastic. That's wood, but it's gigantic. Can't even get the whole thing in the shot there. How much is that? Six forty-nine. dollars And some little signs and things here, but nothing for us. Well, art's looking kind of fun. Look at this guy down here. It's not, uh, it's not an original. Um, it's signed, but it's like a print of an original piece, but it is really pretty. Um, and then this one, I can't tell. This one seems kind of printy too. I know they've kind of made it to look like it's original, but I don't think it is, and it's $14.50, so we'll pass on that. That looks like it might be original, but it's not very detailed. It is pretty, but a little bigger, a little too big for what we're looking for and for what it is. So doesn't look like any original art for us today. Those are neat, those little botanical prints. Looks like they're a little faded though. So yeah, nothing for us. <clears throat> this little girl was over here on the tools holding on to herself. Um, it's one of those little fertility god sort of figurines, but this is kind of a replica. It's wood, but it's like a wood composite. It's $9.49. It's not like the real deal. Um, it's just made to look like, like one, like a replica. So we'll go ahead and leave her. It's kind of pathetic in the bags. This is really all they've got. Lots of empty pegs. They probably went through and threw away all the stuff that was broken. Well, I swung back through the figurines really quick and I put away that little uh, carved uh, people holding the globe. Um, looks like there's a couple listed, but no solds and um, it doesn't really have a lot of value. I don't think it's real wood either. I think several of those things um, were donated and they're not real wood, but we are gonna grab everything else. That little blue plates by Lillian Vernon. It's got some decent value to it. And I saw this guy, it looks really cool. I don't know where this is supposed to be, tried to look it up. I didn't find any, but I really, really like it. It's got a little signature there. Maybe it's a one-of-a-kind piece, but the glaze is really cool on it. And I don't know, to me, it kind of looks like the Twin Towers in New York. Um, but I know New York doesn't have any palm trees, so I'm not sure. I don't know where this is, but it looks cool. So I think we're going to head on up to the front. Well, <clears throat> total spend was $26.69. Um, she did not give me those two plates for $2.49 each. She said, they're processed by different people. And I said, okay, so are they $2.49 or $4.49 or what? She said, one's $2.49 and one's $4.49. Do you want them or what? So I bought them. <laughs> um, let's head down the street to Salvation Army, see if there's any fun stuff there, um, and then I'll let you guys go. Um, but we may as well run down the road real quick and check it out.
This is Mikasa too. It's really pretty. I like the shape and the flowers and everything, but $3.99 and there's just one. I don't know why that's $3.99 and not part of the buy one, buy two, whatever. But I looked down really quick and I saw these. It's a whole stack of these wonderful plates. I actually have these and I use them at home, um, but there's so many here. Oh wait, they're not all the same. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna grab those two for 99 cents. Um, that's definitely a good pickup. And then the rest of these look like this, which isn't too bad. I can't tell who makes these either. Uh, Sculp Sculptura, it says. So um, they're pretty, but I don't know. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Maybe we'll go ahead and pass on those. They're not as fun as these for sure. This is fun. A little teapot. It's missing its top though for $5.99. We've got some little corn holder guys here. These are definitely old. $2.99 each on those. Don't think I want to spend $6 on those though. So we will leave them behind. Uh, these birds are kind of fun down here. I have some that are similar to this right now that are listed, um, but these are a total different colorway. They've got all this blue on them, like, and that blue and white is so popular right now in decorating. That's one of the reasons why I picked up that little Lillian Vernon plate. These are $3.99. These are $5.99. $6. I'm not sure. They might sell. I'm not sure about those. She's cute. Oh, her little wing's been broken and repaired, though. That's too bad. Nope. A little sponge wear on that. Nope. So this little Tupperware um, container, definitely vintage, $3.99. Um, it's for deviled eggs. I have quite a few of them. Um, that I bought on eBay. So I think um, if I don't keep this for myself, it uh, can probably fetch about 15, 20 bucks. That's about what I paid for mine. Here's an original art piece. Um, at first I thought maybe it was a print, but it's definitely not a print. And it is signed and it's very wintry and it's 10.99. I don't know, what do you think you guys? I really like it, 10.99, huh. What does the back look like? Uh, yeah. It's framed really well. Maybe I should grab that. Now that it's in my hand, it's hard to say no. I did look at it before. Like, I looked right at it, but then I got distracted and I didn't pick it up. Definitely think I'm going to grab this. I'm glad I went back. Um, it is signed and dated. It looks like 73, but I don't have my glasses on. Um, and it's hand painted. It's like a plasticky composite material, $3.99, hangs up on the wall, beautiful condition. And a friend of mine, my friend Sam's mom um, is a viewer and she did this type of painting. I think this is the same type of painting like what she used to do. Um, and she actually sent me a piece of her work um, as a thank you because I sent Sam something that was in one of my videos. And um, I did it because I love Sam and I love her mom. I think her mom is absolutely fantastic. And that was a wonderful little gift that I'll cherish forever. But that definitely looks like that type of painting. So I think we can get some dollars for that. It's definitely worth more than $3.99. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, that's a lot heavier than I thought it was. Um, Holland Boone something something, $5.99. I don't know wonder if that's got any value to it. It's definitely got some weight to it. Might need to look that guy up. Not so sure about Holland Boone. It looks very kind of fun and Scandinavian. I don't think it's very old, but it's got kind of a neat look to it. Oh, I really like that. That's pretty. How much is that little guy? $3.99? Oh, that's one of those Pythagor uh, Pythagorean cups. Oh, I'm definitely going to grab this. This is worth like serious dollars um the pythagorean theorem um i guess there's a cup and it you, like the way that the water works in it i don't know i looked it up but i didn't memorize it too many big words for me um, but i had one of these and it sold really well so we're gonna definitely grab that one too throw that in the cart 
What's that guy? That's not, that's not painted. That's just printed on there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's two of the same ones. That's interesting. $3.99 each. Yep. Well, we don't need two of the same thing, that's for sure. It doesn't look like there's anything else on these shelves. Oh, we can pass on that. This is a very interesting candle holder. It is $13.99, but it is actually really neat. It's like a big piece of wood with this iron piece on it. It's kind of cool. A pair of those would be really awesome. Uh, this box is a secret box that does not open. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's musical. Oh. oh it's very musical and very fast. $7.99. It doesn't have the little ballerina in it, though. I mean, it doesn't look like it ever should have, which is weird that it's musical, but it doesn't have the ballerina in it. It's kind of fun. $3.99. It probably had some candies or something in it. It says sell by date, so if there's an expiration date on it. It probably had food in it. That's a neat little spice rack. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Like, maybe for me. $5.99? Not for $5.99, though. Maybe for $2.99. It's got some schmutz on the side there, too. So we will pass on that. Nothing in frames. Let's see what we got on the end cap here. Oh, this guy's still here. So I guess it, I shouldn't feel bad about not getting it because here it sits. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been here, at least a couple of weeks. I haven't done a video for a minute, a full video anyway. It's kind of pretty, $5.99. I kind of like that too. I don't think it's old though, $3.99. So, nothing here. Okay. Sort of clocks and things, I guess, we've got on these shelves. That's a big, giant Himalayan pink salt lamp. I like this little Mary and Jesus back here, but they're $6. No maker's mark or anything on those. This elephant tape dispenser is awfully cute, but we don't need that. $3.99 for the Liberty Bell. That's actually a bell. I kind of like that actually, but I don't know, bells don't sell very well, and I certainly don't need it, so let's be good and not buy things we don't need. Don't see anything on these shelves. It's a little date um, for your pen, and it's on a marble base, $5.99. That's kind of cool. Made in China, not suitable for food. So oh, that tells me it's not very old. All right, and then we got fake plants. You know how I feel about fake plants. Let's go check out um, furniture and big art, and then we'll probably head out. <clears throat> That's a really cool glass piece in the case here. I wonder how much that is. It's really big, it's tall. I still have that oil lamp that's got that same sort of design on it. No one's picked that up yet, but I at least wanna see how much it is. Well, our total spend there was $31.91. Um, the plates were actually half off, so that was a really screaming deal. So instead of $10, they were all, all 10 of those plates were five bucks. Um, and then there was another thing that was $3.99 that came up half off. I don't know what it was though. I'll have to check when I get home. If I find out, I'll let you know. I'll put it up here or over here or something. Um, but that was a fun trip. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. We finally made a video, yay! I've done a couple of shorts this week. And I don't know if any of you have noticed, but <clears throat> the short that I did um, yesterday, so I don't know, this will probably be a couple of days ago for you guys because I got to edit this, so it probably won't be out right, right away. I won't get it out tonight, but um, I made a short a couple of few days ago um, that kind of went viral for me anyway. It's got over 10,000 views. Um, I got 60 subscribers from it. So if you're one of those subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for joining me and my channel. And I hope I don't let you down. I hope you enjoy every minute of it. Um, but that was kind of fun. So I've done a few shorts. Um, those are a little quicker and easier to do. And obviously I don't need to um, find a lot of things. And there haven't been a lot of things to find. But I see that that is getting better. So videos will be forthcoming. 
Um, thank you all for your love and your support, your likes, your subscribes. I'm at 887, I believe. Um, that, like I said, that short really bumped me up. So I went from like 797 to 897 in like a day and a half. So that's really exciting. Um, on the road to a thousand and we are super duper crazy almost there. So I can't wait. Uh, we've got like three weeks to get it done. Well, probably, probably a solid month, but we'll say three weeks. I think we can do it. Um, all right, you guys have a wonderful, uh, adventures and wonderful trips of your own until we meet again, um, and be safe out there and I will see you later. Bye.